guys it's Ali and welcome to a new video so today I've been around my room and I have shopped my stash I've got some bits out here I've got a box of die cuts box packets and packets of them some embellishing I've got a box of die cuts that I've just been saving along the way put just all sorts of different things in there that I'd like to use I've chose this botanical note, I've got so many of these paper pads, it's a really lovely paper pad, I think I've probably used about two sheets out of it, so I'm going to use that, and what I thought I'd do today is I'd show you how I made, I had quite a few people ask me how to make just a little accordion journal, this is just one I use just for myself, just for collaging in off, off camera, um, so I thought I would show you how I made this little journal. I'm going to use this paper pad. So let's rip some pages out. Um, don't know about that one because it's got a pattern on. Two, and you can do as many, <coughs> excuse me, or as few pages as you want to. Isn't it? Yeah, that's gorgeous. It's like a um, pearlescent paper. Yeah, I've had a good think and I definitely want to start using stuff that I've got in my room definitely that's beautiful as well these are just going to be the pages as you can see they are white on the back I would have preferred double sided but not to worry we just go with what we've got we can put some coffee dyed paper or something on the on the back how many pages have I got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right, ten. We'll go with that, that'll be enough. Okay, so let's just pop that to one side. So I think I'm going to have mine, what does this one measure? Because this is a nice little size for working in. Uh, what does it measure? Six and a half by four and a half so we'll do the same we'll do six and a half in the height and and four and a half but I'm gonna I'm gonna add half an inch on to make the little uh, what's the word like hinge to attach the pages together so let's get my trim it and let's cut down some papers so I'll do a few together Take my which way are we? Oh, the wrong way around. So six and a half by height and five widths. Should we do five or should we do five and a half? We'll do five, we'll do five and a half. So for the height, let's see if I can cut a few papers together. I'm just trying to get my papers the right way around. Right, okay, so let's cut these down to six and a half. So these are eight by eight papers that I'm working with. And then let's do that one. Let's on that one. Right, let's do it that way. And then we get to keep the bird on the bottom. I don't know why I'm going to embellish them yet. It might be two videos this, but we'll see. So six and a half height. I need to change the blade in my trimmer, I think. It's not cutting very good. and a half by five and a half. That's five and a half. Let's put these down to five and a half. So there we go. We've got six and a half by five and a half. So I'll just cut the other papers down and then I shall be back. Okay, so I've cut my papers to six and a half by five and a half. I've got all these scrappy bits left which we can use to make some pockets and tags and different bits. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to score at half an inch on the right. So what did I say? Five. So I'm going to score at five inches on every one just to give me a half an inch. Uh, hinge that I can fold over yeah I've got some beautiful paper pads and I'm determined this year to shop my stash and use stuff that's in my room 
I'm not going to say I'm not going to buy anything because if I want something that I see and I like it, I'll buy it. But I'm definitely going to try and use a lot of the stuff that I've got because I've got some beautiful stuff that I've bought and it's, I'm embarrassed to say it really. You know, I've had on my shelves for a long, long time and just never got out. Such a waste instead of keep buying. So yeah, we're just scoring these at five inches. I mean, you don't have to put 10 pages in. You can do less, you can do more, you can do whatever you want to do. Right, so that's them scored. So we're just going to fold over and just burnish this score line on all of them. So we're back to normal, back to everyday routine, back to alarm clocks. Girls have gone back to school. I'm actually, I did no crafting over the weekend. So it is, what day is it today? It's Wednesday. Is it the 3rd or the 4th of January? Uh, yeah, girls have gone back to school this morning and I wanted a video to upload tonight. So I thought I'll, I'll do this one. Right, so we've put our little hinges on there. So now I'm just going to have a look what order I want my pages in. Uh, what do I want on the front? Um... I don't know whether to have that as my front cover going that way and that one and that one and that one and that one so your, your spine's on the right just making sure I've put all the papers the right way around and the, it's really easy and you can apply this to a bigger journal or a smaller journal, whatever you want to do. What we're going to do is we're going to put some glue on the flap. And then I'm going to turn it over just to put my paper on. And I'm going to stick my page on like that. Glue on my desk. So that it will fold over to make the accordion folder. So we've gone underneath on that one. So this time I'm going to stick on top and you see how I went underneath the flap on there and this time I'm going to do on top and if you just alternate like that in theory it should all fold back like an accordion fold so that one's on top so we're going under over now when I made my Tim Holtz Halloween one I used fabric to uh, attach the pages together but like I said I'm using paper today so under, over, so now we're sticking over, I hope this works guys because it's ages since I've made one, when I first did it, it took me a lot of thinking about it to make sure I was sticking the pages on right, um, I do like it with the fabric, you know joining the pages together with fabric and it's the same principle under and over so I'm going to turn over again, which one do I want? Over, so under so I'm going to put glue on here you just have to keep checking where you're up to if you're anything like me I've got a terrible memory oh that's double sided that one isn't that strange just one or well, maybe some of them are oh yeah that one is as well and that one some must be double sided and some must be single sided I never even noticed that okay so we're going on top on this one And I'm not going right on the crease, I'm just going tiny little bit underneath so that it'll fold up nice. Okay, turn it over and we're going to do this side. Keep your fingers crossed I'm doing this right. <laughs> oh dear me. And then I'm going to turn over. And I'm going to stick it on this side. And let's hope. Oh, I've got two more pages. I don't know whether I've got enough there. I think I've got enough pages there. Yeah, I'm going to leave that gold one off, I think. I might use it. So we've folded them all. We've glued them all. So now, <coughs> excuse me, in theory, they should all fold back like an accordion journal 
like that, like that, like that. So under and over. So let me just make sure I'm all lined up. Okay, so that's the base of the accordion journal. Now you can, I think I'm going to stick that down and I'm going to put a piece of paper on the back. So I might actually just use this as my back cover. Let's just cut that strip off. And let's glue this down. Let's just glue this flat down. Am I on camera? Yes. <laughs> And then I'm going to glue this piece over the top. That should fit on there perfect, which it does. Okay, so we need to put some papers on these blank pages. So I think I'd like something that can be written on, but I don't know. I mean, that could be written on, that could be written on could be written on couldn't it so how many do we need let's just have a look one two three four five five pages so we can write on that that's one um we can write on the back of that that's two we can write on the back of that three we can write on the back of that four more oh well we can write on the back of that one five so let's cut them down then to what did I say I cut was it five and a half by five by six and a half right I'm just going to cut these papers down I mean if you've got double sided paper it's easier but I just want to start working through these paper pads <laughs> and just making use of them see if these papers are going to fit on there yeah they fit perfect just making sure there's room to close it yeah they should be okay so let's glue these down then there we want that side then it's easy to write on you know you could do it with old card if you want it a bit thicker then cover it with pattern papers you could do it with double sided 12 by 12 you can do it with whatever you want right. oh. I'm too eager, aren't I? I've not given it a chance to grab. Let's just give it a second just to grab. And these two. Uh, what should we have? Let's have that one. It was just that I'd had quite a few people ask me how I made the Tim Holtz one. And like I said, it was a bit different because I joined it together with fabric. But it's the same principle along the way the same folding there is hundreds of videos on youtube to put an accordion journal together and everybody's got different ways and different ideas so i don't think there's any wrong in any right way just whatever you whatever you think okay now why does that one seem a bit that page seems very small to that page why is that? Do you know why? Because I think I've stuck it on the wrong way. Let's see if I can take it off. I have. I've stuck it on the wrong way. Oh, I wonder whether it would rip if I... I might cut that page off. I've stuck that last piece on the wrong way. Uh, okay, so as you've just seen, I've glued the the front page the last page on wrong so i'm just wondering if I, if I can stick that over the top and let's see if we can i know we've got a stripe there oh i could go mad doing that never mind it doesn't matter we can still work in it let's do something on the front cover i think i'm going to put a big pocket on the front i was going to put a piece of card on for strength but i don't think i'm going to bother because this is quite decent thickness paper 
I just often pull my camera forward a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to do a pocket, I think. So let's just mark that. I'm just going to cut it. I'm not going to get my just do that big pocket on the front. Right, I'm just going to grab my circle punch just to punch a little thumb notch in. Okay, and you could stitch around all this. I might stitch around all mine when I've embellished it. You could do that first if you wanted to. So I'm just going to get my ink. Just do a little bit of inking. And then we'll just put that on. You know, you can sew all your pockets if you want to. And then we want a couple of tags to go in there. Shall we just use some of this? Yeah, that's blank on the back, isn't it? Let's just make some little tags out of these. In fact, we can have three in, I think. Let's just cut the... Uh, where's my card? That I don't know where... I made, I made a little template on a, you know, a store card. And then it's equal. Okay, so we've got three little tags there. Let's cut them down a little bit. They're a little bit too tall. Yeah, we can put some embellishing on the front of there. Uh, let's put something down here on the pocket. Let's just get my collage box out. I'm going to do a little bit of collage down the bottom. I'm just going to move some stuff out on my way because I've got stuff everywhere. Right, let's just get some of this collage paper. I'm going to have some book page. I'm just going to over. shall we have this is just my box of neutral like collage and stuff i've just got at the side i mean there's not enough room for me to put it on the desk let's have some of this ledger i will probably make another one of these because i'd like to do a tim holtz one so we'll probably and i'll probably use fabric for that one i need to get some Calico coffee dyed and stained up. Like that. And what else should we have? No, what's this script? A little bit of that, I'll just get that edge there. Yeah, so I don't know if all the schools have gone back today, um, but ours have gone back. They weren't very happy this morning because of, well, we all weren't, because none of us have had the alarm clock on for two weeks. So, yeah, it's a shock to the system, isn't it, when it comes round to, to putting your alarm clock on again. Right, so I'm going to put a die cut or something on there. Let's have a look what's in this little box, see if there's anything we could colour up or put on there. That leaf. These are just, you know, when I'm die cutting and I've cut too much, I just put them in this little box. Got loads of pockets. We could put some pockets on these things. Frames. Like that. Yeah, it'd be nice to just use some of these. Don't know what's at the bottom. I never get to the bottom. And again, just die cut. What's that little frame? We could put that on there, couldn't we? We could put something underneath. Um, where's my words? Let me just. I have got some. Let's have a look at these. Uh, these are just little words. 
I'm just wondering whether one of them would... No, that's too much. Too big, rather. What's that one? Thankful. We could use that one. We could use Laugh. We could use Wonderful. I thought I had one that said Journal. I have somewhere, but I wouldn't know where to put my hands on it. Uh, what should we have? Should we have? What should we have? Inspire. What's these here? Yeah, I definitely did have one that said journal, but I don't know where I've to put to put my hands on it. Um, I think I'm going to go with that one that says joy. Again, all this kind of stuff I've bought years and years ago and just not used it. Yeah, it's just, um, I'm just naughty, just buying, buying stuff and not using it. Not making the most of it. Right, let's just put that little frame on there. Now, I could even put some little brads either side of there. Have I got some tiny brads? I'm sure I have. Some little tiny ones here. Let's just see if I can get two out. Just see if they're big enough. They might go through. Oh, no, I need some a bit bigger. They're still a bit too small. I didn't think the hole was that big. Let's have a look if we've got one a bit bigger. Um, not in there. Right, where's my other ones? Let me just. Think, oh, here they are. Oh, I've got some coloured ones here as well. But I didn't know I had. Uh, two little love hearts. I wonder whether they'd go in. Come on. They'll go in, so let's just open them out. Just then that little hole's not empty. Oh, let's turn you the right way around before I close the back. Come on, turn round. There we go. So I'm going to stick that on. I think I'm going to use a little bit of my three-in-one just to stick this down. Right, I've got them brads in. Come on, glue. I haven't had it out since before Christmas, so it's taken ages to come down the little nozzle. hope you'll stick now like that I'm just going to keep my hand on it just for a little minute I've got more die cuts there that fell out the fell out the box right I think that should be okay I'm just going to see if I can ink around my edge a little bit I should have done this before I started gluing Right, I need to put some more glue on there. It's not um, sticking properly. Just put the lid on that. Uh, where did I just see some paper sticking up then? There. I never get to my corners. Right, I think that's okay. Let's put something on these tags. Let's put a little hole in them. Uh, where's my punch? I'm just going to grab some string or twine or something. To... Right, let's just put these in. So what are you all up to guys? What are you making? Have you started journals for this year? Um, well I was going to do the vintage sewing one which I still am. But I've bought another kit off the lovely 
Amanda from Scrimping Mummy. She's just brought out a beautiful um like sewing habit like a yeah vintage it's beautiful kit and I've already got the vintage ladies which it'd go nice with both of them are Amanda's kit so I don't know whether to do that one instead of doing the the other one that I, I, I can't make my mind up I've got a couple of kits and I can't make my mind up which ones to use I do love Amanda's kits and I do love Andrea's but I think Amanda's two kits go lovely together so I don't know whether to go with that Right, let's just put something on these little tags. Yeah, we don't need anything on them because they're patterned, aren't they? Let's just put a butterfly or something on here. Oh, actually, I've not got my butterflies out, all of them. Let's just have a look if there's one in here I can use. I meant to get my little case of butterflies out. Um, that's a bit big. What colour do we want for the starter? have a green one um. nope. we could even put two on and a little sentiment in the middle let's do that let's just put them back over here I'll put them back in a minute we will be here all day I was hoping to get a good few pages done but I'm so slow aren't I right let's glue these butterflies down let's just put a bit of ink around the edge rid of the white I don't want to make it too dimensional because it's only a little only a little journal it was just to show you you know putting it together how I do it like I said if you found that way complicated have a look there's lots of different tutorials but I find that the easiest way to do it right we want some little words what should we have um, just rooting at the side of me here they're too small black them these are like little quotes everyone is creator of one's own fate you are never too old to set another goal dream or dream a new dream they might be too big i think something they'll fit in there uh, what's in this one right let's have some of these i think Three words out what we got enter here now specimen oh we could have specimen butterfly specimen limited edition could have that one and laugh oh no let's have in inspire right let's just put around these just get the white off them uh, where's my little rubbish thing I've not seen that neither forever I'll just have to cut it on my desk yeah so let me know what you're up to guys in the comments um, yeah I've got I've got quite a lot of things I want to do well you've seen the video haven't you uh, whether I'll get them achieve all of them over this year I don't know but yeah Hopefully, we'll just keep plodding on. Making. Right, so let's just put these on then. Uh, where have you put your glue? I think I need to put something on this one here. I think I might stick some butterflies on there as well. That one looks okay because we've got butterflies top and bottom, but that one with it being sort of a fainter background I feel like I need to put something else on there so we'll put a couple of butterflies on that one are these are plain on the back yeah so you can write on the back of them uh, butterflies let's just get some more butterflies let's put them back 
Oh, we're not doing very well doing the one page out oh, mind you i'm not going to be heavy embellishing it i just like i said i did it really to show you this structure because i'd had quite a few people asking me could i that's why i did it let's have pink Should have just got my other proper butterflies out. I'm just being lazy. I don't want to get up and go looking for the... What's these? Yeah, let's have them too. They don't have to be the same, do they? They can be different specimens, like it says on the thing there. I'm not going to put a foam pad on it. I'm just going <coughs> to glue it down. This one, I'm just going to put a bit of ink around it. There's a bit of white showing. Yeah, so I'm going to have to decide what kits I want to use for my vintage sewing journal. I don't know whether... Let me know if you've bought any of the kits that I said that you wanted to work along with because I don't want to change it. <coughs> Excuse me, if you've already bought the kit, you know, the ones I showed you. Uh, I'll keep it as it is but if you've not then I might change it and use Amanda's kits the two kits so let's pop them in there so that's okay for the front cover I think isn't it that we've got enough in there right we need to put something down here so what I can do is just do a side pocket can't I and I'm going to use this gold because it'll go nicely on there uh, where's my this one gone like I said, you could sew around all this to fancy it up if you want to. Okay, put that down there. Sorry if there's a glare off that shiny paper. Right, we want something on there. What's these? No, I don't think I want white on there. Right, let me just pop these brads back and then I don't tip them all out everywhere. I don't fancy standing, sorting hundreds of brads out when I've dropped them everywhere. Right, let's have some die cuts then. Um, do I want to put any collage underneath? Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit. Downwards. How long have I been on guys? 43 minutes. We can always come back on and finish it off can't we if we want to. green because we've got green on the other side haven't we stick a piece of that down and then a die cut on there or a flower or something let's have a look in my pussy cut flowers maybe a nice flower to match that page too big to be in there no yellow doesn't go we need something pinky I think it's that one yeah let's have those two just looking at the pink on the other page okay I'm just going to ink around them a little bit and just get rid of where I've cut the white I 
think I'm going to make the back or just leave the back for journaling space. I think that's what I'll do. Flowers on there. Right, let's have another one of these little words. I like the black because I think it makes the colours pop. What else should we have? Oh, should we have a number? Yeah, let's have a little number. Just cut it down a bit. I'll have to find my little basket that I use for my bin. I need to have a good sort out, really. I've not put all my Christmas presents away yet. The crafty ones that I got, they're all sitting on a pile the side of me. Yeah, that's okay. This page, what should we do here? Should we do a corner pocket? Or should we do a little belly band, maybe? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do a belly band. I'm add these ones. I'm just going to cut it. A strip, I don't want it too wide. We'll put that little belly band there. And all on that. No, the other side. Let's put a bit of glue top and bottom. I've got lots of journaling cards and tags and stuff we can put in these pockets. In fact, I'll get them out now and we can be putting them in. While we're, while we're working these toppers that's nice isn't it that black and white one but I think it'd be too big to go in there yeah I'm going to go in that pocket yeah I like the contrast of the black and white I think let's have a look what else we've got all sorts of this stuff like I said I just want to use it use it use it all <laughs> well they're actually toppers then they're not journal cards let's just get my other one out uh, where are your journal cards oh yeah There you go with some die cuts that I've got. I think I've got some graphic 45 in. That's a graphic 45, I think. Right, let's have a little look. If we put them in as we're going along, it's too big. Put one in there. That's a nice bookmark, isn't it? Or that goes nicely, doesn't it, with the the background papers let's put that on let's put that on there can you see guys I hope so I've got that much stuff on my desk uh, I don't want postcards what's these let's have a look at these yeah, see all this lovely stuff toppers and ephemera that I've got that just need to get out and get used I'm going to put that circle under there well, that's nice as well, but it's a bit steampunky. Right, let's just ink around that circle. Yeah, I've got so much stuff. Probably like lots of you. I've got enough to make journals all year, definitely. Okay, I might just buy some kits, you know, journal kits. Right, so that's that one. So one, two, three. Right, I think I'm going to put pocket up there. What paper have we got left? I'll use the scraps. Let's put them in my scrap box. That one there. And then I think I'm going to put a double pocket on this one. Let's use some of these. What have we got left? Um, don't want that because it's the wrong. Unless we put a pocket that side. Yeah, let's do that. Use this piece of paper rather than waste it. Let's put some ink around the edge. 
Yeah, so my plans today, um, I can't do anything. I've, I've got a, c a commission journal to make. Well, I've got two actually. Um, but I'm waiting for my ink to arrive. I've looked on the HP thing and it says it was dispatched on the 27th of December, but I've not got it yet, so I can't print the kits off to start the commission journal that I've got to do. Right, so we want something to go in there. Um, No, we need something bigger than that, don't we? Let's have a look what else we've got in here. What colour have we got? So many of these lovely die cuts. Yeah, let's put that there. That's nice with the green. Put that one there. And I think I'm going to call it a day there. How many pages have I got left? One. Yeah, what we'll do is we will come back on at some point. Um, tomorrow is, what day is it tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday, so we've got Tim Holtz on a Thursday tomorrow. I've got a project ready to do with that. Let's just put my lid on here. Yeah, Tim Holtz Thursday tomorrow. So we'll come back at some point and finish this little journal off. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been useful. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, just watching me embellish it so yeah so there we go then let's zoom in a little bit I feel like I've not been at my desk for absolutely ages took me ages to remember how to set my camera up this morning so there we go then guys there's our little project little accordion journal for now so as always thank you so much for stopping by take care and I'll see you all tomorrow with my Tim Holtz Thursday bye for now